Well, it's all quite remarkable. If you've never been out to sea... And Warm water is bringing new life to the waters of the Pacific. That's according to local researchers who returned today from a four-month voyage. New at 5 o'clock, 10 News reporter Craig Herrera shows us the rare finds made right off our coast. Those local scientists made some unusual discoveries right on board that ship. You're looking at a picture of a pygmy whale. When we got a positive identification, we it was hard to believe. That's because the pygmy is usually in warmer tropical waters near central Mexico and farther south. We had never before been aware that it had been sighted in, in California waters. They were able to collect skin and blubber samples that'll tell them the population it came from, feeding habits, and the sex of the whale. And if she's a female, we can actually tell if she's pregnant. This crew of 30 members, including 15 scientists from NOAA's Southwest Fishery Science Center, made lots of rare discoveries. It was a four-month trip off the coast up to Canada along the waters called the California Current. It allows us to monitor the health of those populations and, and the health of the oceans. This picture shows a striped dolphin at the top of your screen and a short-beaked common dolphin at the bottom. They are rarely seen swimming together. And this video shows a loggerhead sea turtle. While they do get near our coast, something really surprised the crew. This year, uh, we saw them in, in unprecedented numbers and in unprecedented aggregations. And this is a picture of a red-billed tropic seabird. They saw lots of warm water seabirds just like this that were unusually far north. The warm water that we experienced here off Southern California in the last few months has, has really been almost unprecedented. They say we get these warmer waters periodically and it's something we see usually during an El Nino year. Here you can see a relatively young killer whale calf that was playfully swimming upside down for a bit. It will now take two to three years to analyze all the data, and then they hope to go out again to explore and study the life off the California current. Along the Embarcadero, Craig Herrera, 10 News. And this map shows you where the scientists explored. They went 345 miles offshore. They started their journey down here in San Diego, going north all the way to the U.S.-Canadian border. They came back down to the U.S.-Mexican border.